Yeah, techie fingers. Woo! <laughs> All right. Well, hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good whatever it is you're doing. Paradigm shifters. <laughs> so grateful that you joined us today. And we are in the month of February 2022. And this whole month we've been through, you know, speaking about the topic of overcoming and overcomers. And I don't know <laughs> when I first thought of that topic it was like uh oh and then all these things came that i had to uh, get deeper and deeper into like what is it do i believe about myself who am i and where is my connection to my higher source so paradigm shifters is we are on a mission yeah we are a growing global community dedicated to shift and uplift the entire planet. How's that? Whoa. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> and so far, like, we have like people in here and, and uh, beautiful souls from wow, well over 20 some countries. And, and um, I just want to appreciate every single one of you for making a difference in the world. So I am so thrilled. And I love the word thrilled instead of excited, right, Stephanie? <laughs> to uh to we're having a conversation today with uh one of my uh buddies stephanie puente and i first met stephanie wow what has it been well over 20 years ago right yes yeah and it's been my privilege to grow with her and her wisdom and her dedication persistence and stephanie is a beautiful example of um, parenting beautiful daughters and your relationship with sebastian and as a, and what you do with your business so we're talking today about this whole topic of overcoming and then what we we're talking about is being your authentic self yeah. So can you talk a little bit about what that means to you and maybe a story or two about that in and paradigms that come up when you're trying to do that? So jumping right in, Stephanie. <laughs> well, Judy, thank you so much for this opportunity to get to be here. I feel so grateful and I feel so honored to be a um participant on this journey and to watch you and who you've become and this amazing community that you have created and i celebrate you and all the work that you're doing and it is an honor to get to be here so thank you so much for having me and it has definitely been a journey of being my authentic self and as i was thinking about this topic of overcoming I was reflecting on there has certainly been times in my life where there's been some significant things that anyone would feel challenged by in terms of overcoming in regards to, um, you know, in high school, I had an eating disorder. I went through, you know, uh, an addiction uh, phase in my life. Um, we had, you know, financial difficulties. My mom passed away. And as I was reflecting back and thinking about those those moments, that those were actually, although the process of recovery has been a journey in and of itself, in those challenging times, I found that it was easier to practice turning things over and surrendering and trusting and overcoming all of the many things that came up as, as we were going through and as I was going through those moments in my life but that the real journey, the discovery of being my authentic self, and as you started out by saying, who am I? Um, and how am I connected to this you know, higher power, this thing called life? And the overcoming of those core beliefs, becoming aware of those core beliefs inside that have driven and um, created many of those circumstances in my life, the addiction, the eating disorder, the you know, various things and this awareness of at the core, you know, low self esteem or lack of deserving sense of self worth and beliefs that I had about myself that kept me feeling uh, 
afraid to really put myself out there and trust and um, risk people being upset with me. That was a big thing of of developing this uh, practice of trying to be perfect. If I could just get it right, if I could just figure it out, then I would be okay. But even under that, this belief that that I, that it, I wasn't enough just as who as I am, that I really believed I had to do something to be able to keep love in my life. And I decided at an early age, I'm just, it's too painful. So I'm just not going to let myself love. I'm not going to let myself care about things or matter. And at the time of making that decision, I felt empowered by that. And it's been a process of discovery of that my true power lies in partnership with my higher power, building a sense of believing that I am enough and beginning to really love myself and know that by means of that, that I can shine my light and give my gifts and really make the difference that I desire to make while I am here. And so being my authentic self that has been a, a slow journey of of noticing what I'm noticing. And, and for so long, I believed that um, I didn't see my part in things. I just reacted to the facts and the conditions and whatever came in, I shaped them to prove my beliefs about myself and I thought it was real. And so I was always fighting and trying to prove based on how I saw things coming in, which always was evidence of me not being enough or people not liking me or um, everything is bad uh, so that I could prepare myself and feel this sense of control and um, and 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 the and beginning to become aware of noticing what I'm noticing and beginning to challenge. Wait a minute, you know this. What if this isn't true? And be and having the courage to recognize I am already deciding what this means, and I choose to claim and perceive this in a way that feels loving towards me. And that has been a slow process. And through that process of loving myself more, I am discovering that authentic self and and being able to have compassion for that part of me as well really like putting an arm around that part of me and not judging her for having uh, fear and doubt and worry um, and, and, and letting it be okay that she really does want to love and give love as well as receive love. And by putting an arm around myself in that way and saying, hey, this is what it looks like as we're transforming. Um, that process has helped me to discover that authentic self and and let her feel free and really stand in in that worth in that this is who I am and um, and the overcoming has really been often a moment to moment certainly a daily practice of feeling all those limiting beliefs rise up and deciding that they're not true and I'm no longer going to give them attention and this is what I'm choosing again and again and again. And so that's been a rigorous and continues to be a rigorous practice, but that has been the real uh, rigorous overcoming as I look back on my life. There you go. Wow. Wow. And I know that you you just um, you just moved to Colorado from from Austin in the middle of winter, right? And I'm just imagining, like, can you tell us a little bit about like that journey of what was going on in your thinking and, and the, you know, was that hard? Was it easy? And maybe some like, like concrete things as a mom, possibly, or a, as just whatever. And it was like that you made a conscious choice of a physical move. And can you tell us maybe a little bit of that process? Yes. In real life, in real mama stuff or in real coach stuff. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you uh, the practice and then I'll tell you the, 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 the side conversations going on with the paradigms. But 
Um, as a family, we got the idea to go to Colorado about 20 years ago and come up for a week at a time. And over time, we began to explore the idea, what if we could be here longer? And we put together a plan, we put together a spending plan, we looked at the work that we were doing, and we made a decision, we're gonna, we're just gonna ask for this and, and create this. And so we began to go from a week at a time to four weeks at a time. And that continued to progress for year after year and all through those years we would always say what if we could live here what if we could move here and over time uh sebastian began to take the steps to research you know land and opportunities and in 2019 or really 2018 i believe he found a lot and um took all of the action steps just doing what he could where he was with what he had and and what I observe about myself, you know, as the cliff note or the side conversations going on is all all through my life, again, not wanting to let myself really say this matters to me, this is what I would love and let people know about it or have fear that what if something bad happens and it goes away. So a lot of the times I just go along and and kind of, uh, you know, just you know trust that it's all going to work out but not fully putting myself fully in for fear of it not working out right <laughs> time continuing to take the action steps and we went through a series of processes and we talked about it with our family we talked about it with our daughters and the time uh was right everything came together um just in the last couple of years we've been in the process of building our house and and through that process I also, as, as we made a decision at the beginning of 2021 that we would be moving by the end of 2021, I began a process of uh, letting go of the what's been. That's the other thing on a side note that I've always been very present to and aware of the passages of time oh, and really yeah. wanting to be present for um recognizing the gift of the moment and the gift of the time that we've had and i made a decision that i really didn't want to race through the packing up and the going through of things and really wanted to be present for the girls through that process and and i made that a priority towards the end of 2021 um, so that i could really be present for the life that we have had the joy, the experience, and going through that transition of letting go of um, experiences in early childhood and no longer being a mom who, you know, had young kids. And now I have a daughter in college and being present for that whole transition because Sophia graduated uh, in May of 2021 and uh, went off to college and there was a letting go of that. And, and through the course of all that, Part of being my authentic self is the is the awareness that it's okay to feel feelings, uh, that, that it's okay to feel the grief and the uncertainty of the unknown. Even though we're taking all the steps and we're living into the vision, there is that part of us. It's like, well, what if it doesn't work out? And just letting putting an arm around myself through that process and giving myself compassion to, to cry and grieve and let go and know that I'm going to be okay and be present for the daughters and my girls and let them have all their feelings and um, going through all the things and not just racing through it all, but really cherishing, uh, you know, the furniture and all the experiences that we've had so that as I move into the what next, I feel fully present. And so that's been a thing, you know, while I've been navigating the, the paradigms and, 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 the, and allowing, that's the other thing I wanna share is this idea of allowing that so much of the journey up until now has been, and for anybody out there who feels like you have to push and make it all happen and it's all up to you versus this recognition that you are partnering with higher power or spirit and that, that everything is happening for good no matter what happens you're going to be okay and to really allow and be present for all the good that has been to be able to make welcome and feel a sense of deserving 
that, that you are worthy of the what next, whatever that what's next is for you. And that's what I've been doing is as I, as I take in the beauty of this place, as I take in, you know, my love of nature and what we're creating in terms of this new home, uh, I have sense of deserving coming up and noticing what I'm noticing and fear and all of that and just practicing staying in the present moment and feeling grateful and reminding myself that in order to have that expanded life, I must allow myself to feel good for what is here now and to be present for it. And so I've tried to practice that with, you know, as a wife, as a mom, and letting everybody have their own feelings in the process, not taking things personally. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> and, and, and just, you know, continuing. And, and it's kind of felt like a marathon. We're in the final stretch uh, of things all coming together. And and this idea of, uh, and I want to pass this on because this has been such a great tool for me, is this idea of this is what it looks like today as it's all coming together. And if I really believe that, I would feel a sense of peace. I would feel a sense of ease. I would feel a sense of gratitude. And that by means of that, that's helping me to be my authentic self and be present as opposed to, you know, being in in stress and fear and worry and, and trying to, you know, push, if you will versus allowing it to unfold and trusting that it's all good it's like a constant birthing process <laughs> yes <laughs> no matter how old you are i love it i love what you said about um you know it, it just you, you just like in about 15 minutes just put so many cool tools in there i love it and the ones that really stood out that that really resonated with me were was um it, you know, letting go of what's been. Yeah. And that, that, you know, some of you out there, uh, this has been what, two, three years of whatever, not knowing and, you know, all of the different constraints or not. And, and it's like, isn't it like that you said, letting go of what's been and letting your authentic self feel it and cry with it. But I really love that I've never heard before of reaching out, putting an arm around yourself. <laughs> it's like, you, good job. And this is what it looks like as it's all working out. What a bunch of, what a bunch of gold nuggets right there. So what I would love to just ask you now in order to, to um, as a community of paradigm shifters, who are, you know, shifting, uplifting the planet. Let me go like this a second. Uh, there we go. What, <laughs> you know what, I, I just have to ask you, I love the cow. That is, tell me, I because I've seen you so many times with the cow in there, because you're in your new home in Colorado. Not what? yet, not yet, we're in a temporary space. Oh, okay, but the cow has <laughs> significance, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's the decoration of the space, uh, but we're not in our new home yet. We're in the final stages of completing the um, all the interior stuff and doing some, you know, of the final stages of things, waiting for stuff to still come in. So we're in that, you know, last part, the five miles of the, okay. <laughs> of the, of the marathon. So we're getting a second wind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What would you love to have us hold as a community for Stephanie Puente? And you know, you we're we're holding space for you, and this is the law of receiving for you, because we're here to give to you. Thank you for for giving to us. What would you love as you know, and practicing the law of receiving? We're here to support in. Well, I wanna I wanna. Thank you for that. And, and, and I want to just also share really quickly how important it is, you know, this circulation that for, for anybody out there that I think when, when I know when I have low self-esteem or low sense of deserving um, or low self-worth, there's always been this push and like, well, I don't need anything, you know, I'm good. And here's where my power is. But that 
authentic power comes in both the giving as well as allowing ourselves to receive and letting letting it be okay that that is important and that we're worth it that you are worthy of receiving all of the good all of the love all of everything that is here for you and just i want to just support people in uh making that welcome in their lives because that has also been a journey of overcoming of letting myself admit like it's important to me to to allow in um and let my Allow in. I, I think. Okay, you go, go like this because it's all coming up to Colorado. Yeah. What would you love to, you know, it's like a, um, a gift to you. So, what would you love to allow in that our energetic? Just, um, I would love to receive, um, you know, energy of knowing, um, you know, that it's okay and safe to, to let more, let more, allow more good into my life. That, that by means of being receptive, it actually, that is where my strength, that is where my power is that. And as, as I allow more in, I'm, I am, as I receive that, I will be even better able to be um, a light and support for my family, for my friends, for everybody that I get to connect with as well. So that okay. up with your arm. Here it comes. <laughs> I don't know if you can see Thank you. Thank you so much, Judy. And I appreciate everyone and uh, this opportunity. Thank you.